All right, today we're gonna to be getting into adding decimals. So we got a candy bar here. It says it's a dollar twenty-five to gas station. If we were to buy three candy bars, how much did we spend? The most important thing with adding decimals is make sure that the decimals are lined up. And a good strategy is to turn your notebook sideways and make sure that each digit gets its own line and make sure the decimal gets its own line as well. So what I like to do is figure out how many things we're gonna add up, put those decimals first and let the numbers fall into place. So if we're getting three candy bars each at $1.25, we're adding up three things. Decimal, decimal, decimal. Let the numbers fall into place. We have $1.25, $1.25, and $1.25. Now go ahead and add them up. Starting with the right side, working left. Five plus five plus five is 15. Carry the one, don't forget about the little one. Add up my twos, two plus two plus two is six, plus the one is seven. When we get to the decimal, make sure you drop that down, and then one plus one plus one is three. So, 375 for those three candy bars. This slide again, noticing that the decimal gets its own line, and again, let the numbers fall into place. Now, what you're gonna see on today's bit.ly is adding something that looks like three dollars, remember three dollars, and also written as 3.00. You will see that on the billy. Now, we got Mr. Johnson entering his dogs in a dog show. We got Jax, Sparky, and Harley. This is an important problem because not all of these have the same number of digits after the decimal. We gotta figure out. Lost my train of thought. We gotta add a place order on those uh, after the decimal and before the decimal in this case. So Jax is 70 point Six pounds. Sparky, put the decimal first. Sparky is 43.521 pounds. And last but not least, Harley's 9.8. The nine will go right below this three here and underneath the five there. Now, when they don't have the, when the numbers don't exactly line up, we need, need to use a zero as a placeholder. So there's, there's gonna be two zeros after the six. There's gonna be a zero before the nine and two zeros after my eight. Now that they have the same number of digits after and before the decimal, we can go ahead and add those up. Zero plus one plus zero is one. Zero, two, and zero is two. Six and five is eight. Six and five is 11 plus eight is 19. Carry the one. Don't forget about my decimal, dropping that down. Nine and three is 12 plus the one up top is 13. Last but not least, seven, four is 11 plus the one is 12. So all three of his dogs are 123.921 pounds. Last practice problem. The candy store, make sure you read the problem. We're not just throwing numbers together and adding them up. We gotta figure out how many things we're gonna add. It says a pound of Starburst costs 2.43. Twizzlers are $1.25 per pound, per pound. If a person bought two pounds of Starburst and one pound of Twizzlers, how much they spend off? So we got two pounds of Starburst, one pound of Twizzlers, adding up three things. So we got Starburst, there's the first one. We need another Starburst. And lastly, we got one pound of Twizzler, it's $1.25. Now that they have all the number, same number of digits before and after the decimals, go ahead and add them up. Three and three is six, plus five is 11. Four plus four is eight, plus two is 10, plus the one I carry is 11. Drop the decimal, two plus two is four, plus one is five, plus the one at top, six. So if he were to buy two pounds of Twizzlers, or two pounds of Starburst, one pound of Twizzlers, he would spend in all $6.11. Now, there's three practice problems. Once you've answered these correctly, come find me at my desk, and if you get all three correct, you will then get the bit.ly and get a head start on the work.